Welcome to another theory video. This video is on CAPE IT Unit 1. I hope you learned something. 12. Alright, newspapers. Good thing about newspapers, current accessible. But take a get out today quickly because the new edition will come out tomorrow. Libraries. Um, the books vary in complexity. Good thing about libraries, the books usually have solid references and they usually have a good overview of topics. But a book is not always current because books could be written from like 1940 until, so it could be outdated, right? especially in scientific fields. Electronic database. Um, good things about an electronic database, wide variety of information, but they have a lot of options and could be confusing. It's easy to search and filter. But um, they don't always use credible sources. I mean, for the most part, they will use credible sources, but not always, 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 right? Um, journals. Journals contain details on the latest research. That's good, but they could ob obtain bias depending on the type of journal you have. Um, articles could take long to republish, and, uh, well, journals are hard to cross-reference because the language that they use is very, um, very rough in terms of high level. Magazines, they are inexpensive, they show trends and analysis, they're more factual than a newspaper. Disadvantages, they're not very scholarly, they have high amounts of bias and they, bec they could become outdated. Online libraries, they provide credible and scholarly information. And they are limited to people with online access. CD-ROMs and DVDs. Well, if you get information on a CD-ROM or a DVD today, that's not very going to work out well for you. It's good because it's portable, but you need special hardware. Like, you need a CD drive to read it. And, well, not much people have that. Websites. They give you a vast amount of information. They're freely available. But their credibility is really low because anybody could get a website. And it's costly to pay for internet. For some people. Sometimes. Wikis. High range of information. Easy to edit and learn. However, they, they do always have cited um, articles. And anyone can edit it with false information. Which is a fact. A blog, mm, you get a wide range of, of topics, but it's very subjective, sadly. People. Alright, so the advantages of people is that they're easily accessible. You get first-hand information, but the disadvantage is extremely subjective and very low credibility because... Who is trust people? Nobody is trust people anymore. And okay, all right. So for these information sources, they are different characteristics like availability. Yeah, availability is um, if it may or may not be available <laughs> to the person. So you might have a password to online library, but you don't have um internet. So, the information is there, but not available. Costs, like these, this this part here, you have to be able to apply these to scenarios. Scenarios as well make this, like, worthwhile. Costs, the research may be very high, depending on the information source. Alright, cool. Currency, frequency that information is published or updated. So newspapers might have an article about a court case that has been since updated, so you should look out for the updated. Amount of detail would be how specific the information is. Um, if you have a high amount of detail, it would give greater insights. So instead of having four columns, you could have ten columns, and each column will have different data points, and you could take those data points and, I don't know, Mm, point or something like 
Breath of coverage. This is if all aspects of the situation are covered, a proper analysis can be done. So if you have a, um, if you examine it from all angles, then you'll have better coverage, which is what journalism is supposed to try to do. Format and medium will be the type of medium that you want to give the information on. So using a floppy disk as opposed to a flash drive. If you have information and you give somebody on a floppy disk, it's not going to be used very well. Reliability um, is how accurate the data is and if it should be followed. So if you get information from a magazine, then you have to be able to say, all right, it is not reliable or it is reliable for whatever reason. Referred and non-referred, if they have um, references. So normally at the bottom of a document, they'll have all the references that they got the information from. And if that there is, has the correct information or has reputable sources, then you could... Um, then you could believe it. Right, this here, you could go back to the video and look at these. This is a kind of table that summarizes it. Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So, um, thank you very much and look out for the next video that is here or here because of all the theory videos for all the subjects.